Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. So in the previous video, we used a low-code, no-code AI platform uh, named uh, Teachable Machine, which is built by Google, where you will not require any expertise of you know deep learning, where if you want to just keep it a black box, okay, you have some sample data or you have some images when it comes to image classification, you can upload those images on Teachable Machine and uh, you can kind of train a deep learning model there, okay, with help of very less understanding of deep learning, okay. So we took the data set from Kaggle, uh, the brain MRI images data, and we used Teachable Machine to kind of train uh, an image classifier model, and in end we got a model that we tested it out uh, in Python, the code snippet that they have, you know, given as an instruction. So we took a sample image from the internet uh, MRI image and we try to uh, see that how the model was performing. Okay, so in this video, we will create an extremely lit application okay, where we will integrate that model into a UI where you will have uh, a file uploader where you can upload that input image and then you can just inference that model right, to find out if there is brain tumor or not. Okay. So this is completely for non-tech guys, Okay, the non-tech people who are not uh having that much of technical you know uh, expertise okay so what we will do in this video we'll first have a file uploader okay so this is going to be your file uploader on streamlit streamlit is a web framework okay where, where it, it makes it easier for the data scientist or the ai or data guy who the, the, the community who has not much expertise with the web technologies or the front-end technologies even the back end with the JavaScript, where we find it difficult to integrate this and then try to integrate in an UI, maybe that React or uh, Vue or any other framework. Okay, and also requires back end knowledge with this. Uh, we have frameworks like Django, Flask, or Fast API, right? So we'll have a file uploader where user will upload the file. Okay, there will be input that will be uploaded here no that will be an image and that image that once we upload an image you can also view that so here will be viewer also well, you can view your image and you view the image and then you pass it through that uh, model that we had right that model got it from teachable machine and then it will do the inference and we'll say tumor or no tumor kind of healthy right so this is going to be the flow that we will see and this will happen in basically in streamlit by any by any case we, we should not you know test this in production or not start using it for brain tumor classification. Brain tumor classification, it takes a lot of things there. Finding out anomalies and performing some kind of correlation. Okay, it's very difficult to, you know, build a brain MRI image classification with 500 odds image samples, right? This is not how it would happen also. This is just for explaining teachable machine that how you can use these models in diff for different use cases. So let's go back to our directory i'll go inside this app and let me do one thing let me open it in terminal and i'll open that in vs code okay code okay so you can see right this was the test.py file that we basically we got this code snippet from teachable machine right and we tested it out we have this keras model.hy we have this label.txt so in labels.txt you can find the zero which is no one is a year basically the binary classification model that we trained okay on teachable machine so what we're going to do first we are first going to create a file called app.py where we write our uh, uh, code for streamlit application so for streamlit application i already have streamlit installed now for what you have to do you have to go and uh, add streamlit in your requirements.txt file if you do not have at this moment so i will I'll start writing the code so first that i have to do is let me first go back to test.py i'll first load this 
as I will need this again and I'll just add a stream lead here so I'll say import stream lead add ht and then I'll create a function so I'll copy all this code here so I'll come down till here I'll copy this I'll come back and I'll create a function I'll call it t table machine classification that's it and I'll just pass so this function will take uh, image as an input so we have to pass the image file when you uh, when we are calling this function okay and then I'll just uh, paste it let me fix the intonation first and, and that's it we are loading the model we have labels hmm we do not need this print statement inside a function when we are calling it does not, don't, does not require so what I will do I will just have them okay I will make them as a comment so have them and then I will just call return class name and confidence score these two variables that we have over here right uh, the result that we are getting right class name and now I will start writing the a code for stimulate application right so I will again write a main function so I will call it def main and here I have imported streamlit as ht so what I will do I'll first give a title so I'll call it title then uh, image classification with Google's teachable machine okay this is going to be my title okay so let me first see See what happens so when we have title let me first show you so if name underscore underscore main and let's run this first and see so we have this function we are actually not calling this function so I'll first see that what happens when you run a streamlit application and how we can run a streamlit application from the terminal so a streamlit application that we have to come over here we first have to activate the virtual environment you can see I have a VNV over here so what I will do I'll just say cd dot VNV CD bin and source activate on Windows or PowerShell you have to change this okay. either activate or dot slash activate if you are on PowerShell okay so source activate and then we'll run the, okay we have to do again do go back to the root directory or I'll say streamlit this is how we run the streamlit file so we'll have a streamlit run and the file name Okay, so the file name which is app.py and it will open automatically in a web browser that's the default browser that we have you can see that it says image classification with google stitchable machine right this is the head now we'll have header you can have you can have your header over here you can have your text you can go through the documentation the link will be in description uh, for streamlit they were very neat and clean uh, uh, documentation as well okay and uh, dot header and I will write brain tumor excuse me brain tumor MRI classification that's it I also have a kind of a text you can also have you know accordion and all those things that you can find it in the documentation upload of brain MRI image to image for classification as tumor or no tumor something like this okay what you have to come back come back on the, the browser or the tab where you have that streamlit app open right you have to do, do rerun you can always rerun so in this case i will rerun and it will load the changes you do not have to go to terminal again and again and then uh, rerun it okay so you can see right so what we need as, as, as I said right so when I was drawing this you can see this input so in input we need a file uploader right so for the file uploader what we do here we we'll come back and we'll do uploaded file will have a variable where and we'll do ht.file uploader 
file uploader and will give a label kind of a stuff. I'll say choose a brain MRI, something like this. And you can also pass the type of extension or the format. I will give PNG for now because I have one sample image that I will test with test.png. You can also give JP, JPEG or JPG and all three of them. So this is the file uploader, right? So what next? So we have the file uploader. Now what I will do is we'll check if there's a file uploaded onto this variable that we're storing something in that variable. So we'll say if uploaded file is not null, and then we'll have image file a variable again with we'll, we have to store that image right so we have imported image from pillow that right? we'll use that image and image dot open and then we'll pass this uploaded file yeah hmm let me see what happens when I do a read on so now you can see we have a text for choose a brain MRI, we have an uploader. Let's see when we upload a file here. So I have a test PNG, I will upload this. Nothing happens. It's, it's okay because we are not showing the image right now. So what we are going to do, we are not showing the image. Yeah. Let me bring my monitor. So we are not showing the image. So what next? So then we, how can we show the image? So we have a method called st.image. So in st.image, we'll pass the image file and then we'll, we can also have a caption for that image. We'll call it uploaded, uh, uploaded MRI or something, okay, uploaded MRI image. And then we can also use the column width. So there is a parameter called use column width and I will keep it true. So use column width equals to true. Let me go back and see if it returns this time something. You can see the brain MRI image that we have uploaded over here. So we we have a file uploader and we are uploading an image and we can also view that image. Okay. okay well, yeah. Let me go back to VS Code. And then I will start writing the code. Now we have to utilize this function that we wrote above, right? Teachable machine classification uh, function that we have. Then we'll do, we'll give a gap maybe, or, or we'll break the line or kind of a stuff. We'll use write and we'll not write anything into it. And then, so I'll give a variable called label, which will, so if you remember the previous video, we were getting something like label one and then yes, right, which was giving it. So what I'll do, I will keep label for this uh, zero and one and that we have no and yes. If you have, if you remember, if you can recall it, the way we were running the test.py file in the terminal, I'll show you in a bit. So confidence score, and then I will call this function. So I'll call it teachable machine classification, and then we'll pass that image file. So we have something called image file. You see over here where we are having this variable to store the uploaded image. So we are going to use it here. Image file will not use the confidence score. Not required. Image file that's it so what next now what we can do we can just look at the label and say if label equals equals one okay and then let me just see how how we're running this test.py okay so i'll again go back i'll go to cdvnb cdbin port activate I want to run this test.py file. So what I will do, I just want to see how the uh, label has been defined, how they are returning in the terminal. Okay, so uh, Python 3, excuse me, Python 3 and then test.py. So we have this test, uh, okay, we have to do a couple of series dot dot to go to directory, Python test.py and so we are, you can see this right we are getting this class and then colon one then space yes and then we have some confidence score so what i will do i'll do yes and then a line break so what i will do i'll do yes and a line break 
going forward okay. not that one okay yes and this should do so if label equal equal one let me go back one six okay then what I'll do I'll uh, there are a lot of ways of writing or showing uh, status in a text uh, in, in a stream lit application so we have something called success or info or warning right so or error also for this case I will write ht dot error or uh, maybe let me write ht dot error and see what happens uh, ht dot I will say MRI image or MRI scan has brain tumor something like this and else ht dot uh, success or maybe info uh, no brain tumor found in the MRI image something like this and let's run this and see what happens okay so we still have let me close this we still have this running okay i will do a rerun and we'll see what happens so you can see in this case right it says mri scan has brain tumor so we have uploaded this image and we are able to find out that mri scan has brain tumor into it right and you can see this model that we have downloaded from teachable machine we built a streamlit application and then we are able to also inference it uh, with the help of streamlit you can go through the streamlit documentation you can also use the full weight you can have different columns to you can also bring now styling elements into a streamlit application they have kind of the community is kind of working to you know improve streamlit you know on day on day to day basis so uh, the code will be uh, given the github uh, link will be given in the description you can go and have a look you can try it try with multiple images you can also create a batch uh, upload kind of a of an application we can upload multiple images and you can then uh, do a for loop to find out uh, the uh, classific classification for all those images okay so i hope you like the content i hope you like the video if you really if you're really liking the content uh, uh, please share the channel with your friends and your peers and if you like this video please like and subscribe thank you so much